Most rebuilds give yourself five years to get things fixed. We've got ourselves free and it's season three today. So last season was great success. We claimed yet another Serie A title and Juventus, the kind of back. Some would say job done in two seasons, but this third season is all about keeping the momentum going and going deeper in that Champions League before we sign off. The squad was good, but we still need to make one or two big moves in this transfer market to finalise it and get ready for season three. Although happy with the squad, it was time to ship some out. We brought in over 40 million. Sicaria went, maybe surprising, but an offer of 27 million from Real Madrid was too good to turn down. Bit part players De Siglio went to Valencia for 6 million and Fagioli to Atalanta for 8. We also got Chesney's big wages off the wage budget. He's got a niece. Now the fun part. Who did we bring in? Well, not many, but the ones we did. Shevskis. This right back problem can it be solved by Serginio Dest in from AC Milan for 12 million. I really wanted a striker, a big time striker to partner Vlahovic. I identified my target, I went for him. And he turned us down and went to Man United for 75 million. Tammy Abraham, you're on the list now. I am flabbergasted. But never fear, because then we swoop for Gianluca Schemacher from West Ham for 60 million, rising to 80. Hey yo! To finalise the window, we threw in a couple of squad signings as well. They're just backups. All this meant the squad then looked like this, so Skamaka up front with Vlahovic looks deadly. Gonna have plenty of supply from DiMarco, Karsdrop, Kulusevski and Chiesa. It's looking good. Pogba's there in the central midfield. I expect Moretti to displace him as the season goes on. In the friendlies, we look really good, scoring loads of goals. Interesting game against AC Milan. They could be the guys to watch this year. Three days later. In the league, the season started pretty well, scoring goals, only losing at Lazio. You can see there we lost against Newcastle in the Champions League. Let me tell you something about that Champions League league phase. With the deuce, if you haven't made it to season three yet in any of your saves, this is now the Champions League. This is the structure. You've got 36 teams and you're randomly given eight teams to play against. As you can see, we're currently 16th in the table. This isn't looking great. We've won three, lost three. We need to get to the top eight to automatically go into the last 16. Just after Christmas, as far as the league goes, we're not playing great, you know. We're in third position. We're still scoring plenty of goals, but as we go to it, we conceded 16, so we conceded 16 and 17. We're not quite right yet, and I think the tactic is going to need a little bit of work. In fact, when I went to look at my tactic and try to find out what was going on, I had a little look and I realised I haven't really gone into playing instructions on there. I wanted to get a bit more in-depth. I let the tactic do the talking, but now it's time for me to do some tweaking, I think. But by the way, planning for the future, we signed Marco Kananeski as our next goalkeeper after Corbell. Look at that. 24, 4 million, bargain. The squad now is streamlined but really good and really good in every position. Two per position, exactly what I wanted. Now in January, we still had some money to spend, about 50, 60 million. I was looking for one big move to finish us off. And there was a few players that we just couldn't get over the line. Offer rejected for Jude Bellingham. I would have loved to have him. We had a deal in place for Kavarak Kashelia. Can you believe it? All good, all done. Then the deadline day came. Couldn't get it finished in time. The changes we made to the tactic really started to work in, but we did lose the Super Coppa final to AC Milan and the Coppa Italia quarter final to AC Milan. But with six games to go, we're in a great position to retain the Serie A title. We've got a game in hand over AC, and we're only two points behind. In the Champions League group phase, we did get into that top eight and qualified for the last 16. There we drew Napoli and we disposed of them. Next up was Liverpool. A display of counter-attacking football got us the win in the first leg, 3-1. Chiesa smashing home. Chiesa are important again down the left. Whipped it in and Vlahovic pinged it in. Let's not talk about that goal. But a vital third came in the 92nd minute. Skamaka with a little reverse and Kulisevsky put it in. 3-1, great first leg result. Second leg at Anfield, 2-2, job done. And everyone knows when you play Liverpool, that's no easy feat. As the season went on, we did adapt the tactic here and there, especially with player instructions, and Chiesa came in at right wing back and did a great job for his time period. And DiMarco is a ball playing defender. A lot of the teams we played against only had one up front, so using the ball playing defender with Dribble Moore meant that DiMarco really comes on the ball, popped into there a lot. In front of him was Moretti, he did displace Pogba, he's now the number one Segunda Valante. The amount of games that the Champions League brought stacked up a bit and we started to drop off with draws against Fiorentina and Roma and we lost the first leg against Bayern 2-3 at home. In the second leg it was tight and then this happened. Skamaka and Bremer just gave the ball to Mane. That went in. 3-1 to FC Bayern. We're out in the semis. 
Overall, I was happy with the performance. When was the last time Juve got to the semi-finals of the Champions League? So I see that as progress, right? However, the distraction of the Champions League had led to some drop points in the league and we're now three points behind Milan with two games left. We have to beat Inter our next match to keep the title of race alive. We start really well with Gonzalez lashing home. He's been a great signing, by the way. Lautaro equalised from the spot, though. In 80 minutes, though, Gonzalez again causing havoc. Skriniar confused. Vlahovic gets it and Gonzalez with a lovely little finish. I think we've got this. It's going to go to the last game. But then, in the 94th minute, we give the ball away. Solinsky plays it through and Ilya puts it in. 94 minutes. And the title dream is over. So AC Milan take down the title. We only lost four games all season, but it wasn't enough. They took it by two points. In fact, if you look at season three as a whole, runners up in the league, semi-finals of the Champions League, knocks out the quarterfinals by Milan, and the Super Cup by Milan. Milan are our nemesis, and that's the end of season three. We gave ourselves three seasons to get Juve back up to the pinnacle of Italy. I think we've got there, but we've kind of just dropped off at the end in the European Cup. What do you think? Have we done it? For me, I'm happy. They've got a great new squad, youthful and ready to go for the future. A really nice tactic with a couple of new players in there. I think they're laughing. And as for me, season three, the third season of the rebuild, we've played 152 matches. We've got a win percentage of 63%. Is it a pass or not? Well, we didn't win the Champions League, so I guess it's a failure. Hey, I told you this was going to be a different type of rebuild. This is a full playthrough, no sim. And we didn't win everything like most other rebuilds do. We win a bit, we got them back up there. Still work to do, but hey, I'm happy. But there's only one more question. Who's next? <laughs>